So you've got a circuit board and you need to solder to the disc itself. Now this toy, it's pretty obvious that these lines lead to these nodes and I could solder to these nodes, but just to show you how to solder this disc, uh, what we need to do first is actually start with our headphone jack wire. What I wanna do is get a glob of solder on each of these wires and uh, I'll show you how to do that in just a second, but I'll get a glob on each wire and that will allow me to bring them in. And then all I need to do is heat the glob up and just make sure it makes contact with the sides of that disc in order to make the connection. It's a lot easier to do that than try to hold everything in place. Now get some solder and try to get everything on there all at once. So always start by getting a good glob of solder on each of your wires. One thing to remember real quick with your discs is that you need to make sure that you are only touching one half of the disc with each side of your wire. If your solder uh, crosses over that disc and touches the other side, the toy will constantly go off uh, or it might not work at all. So always try to, if possible, to attach to the nodes. And I've got a video on how you do that. But if that's not an option, and you have to do the disc, be very careful of where you put your solder. So I'm getting ready to put some solder on the end of my wires. I wanna make sure the ends are nice and twisted together. And I wanna make sure my soldering iron is nice and hot. Now the tip of this soldering iron is very hot, so make sure you do not touch it or make sure you don't leave it somewhere where it could catch something on fire. Uh, the solder is, is basically a metal that can uh, melts very easily, okay? And it makes a good electrical connection. So all I'm gonna do is get, bring my soldering iron down to my wire and then bring the solder to it and just try to get a good glob onto the wire. It does not need to look pretty. It just needs to have a good bit of solder on each of the wires. Again, I am no expert at this, but you just want to make sure you've got a little solder there. It makes it much easier to secure it to the disc. Now, solder may have a light, little bit of lead in it. So when you're done, you want to make sure you wash your hands. So now that I've got a little glob of solder on each of my wires, I'm just gonna bring it down to my disc and I'm gonna, again, make sure I don't get any on both sides, but I'm just gonna bring it down here and heat up that solder. And that's all it really takes to get that on there. Now, one thing I didn't use is some flux. Flux basically helps prevent the circuit board from burning up. Uh, I don't have any with me, but it's just a little pen. You just kind of draw a little bit on that disc. Um, I can do it quick enough that I'm not gonna burn it, but it's a good idea to put a little flux on that disc. Another thing I didn't mention is I'm not actually adapting this toy, so I did not run my headphone jack wire through my toy yet. Before you solder, you need to make sure that you've drilled a hole through the toy and you've run your wire through there. Uh, so <laughs> otherwise, uh, <laughs> you can't do it after the fact. So make sure you do it before you solder. And just like that, that side is on there as well. So the last thing I need to do is make sure that everything works. So I brought a button over, I've got it hooked up. I made sure my toy is on. And then if I press my button, it operates the toy as expected. And I know that I'm good to go to put everything back together.